The first devices to contain the peripheral pin select will be the PIC24 FJ64 GA004 family. This family of devices is part of our PIC24F series of microcontrollers. At 16 MIPS performance, the PIC24F devices are meant to be the 16-bit entry point for our 8-bit customers that need additional performance, flash, or SRAM. The PIC24 FJ64 family is specifically targeted at opening our 16-bit product line to customers requiring smaller packages, lower pin counts, and more SRAM. As I mentioned, the PIC24F is meant to be a cost-effective first step into our 16-bit products. Microchip offers four 16-bit cores that share common core architecture, instruction set, development tools, peripherals, and pinouts. A designer using Microchip 16-bit products can balance their controller selection based on cost, performance, peripherals, and even DSP capability. All four of the 16-bit families use the same tool set, which allows a smooth transition without the need to learn or purchase new tools. The PIC24 FJ64 GA004 family is the latest addition to the PIC24F series. It adds 28 and 44 pin packages with flash memory densities of 16, 32, 48, and 64 k bytes. SRAM on the 16K flash device is 4K. The other devices in the family have 8K of SRAM. The device is designed to bring microchip 16-bit products to low pin count applications. It also provides a performance and SRAM upgrade path to 8-bit users. If you're familiar with our PIC24 FJ128 family, you will note that the peripheral set is very similar. In fact, with the exception of a few ADC channels, the peripheral set is the same as our 100-pin device. Features include a 10-bit A to D converter, two comparators, five 16-bit timers, five input capture, and five output compare PWMs. The device is also very rich in serial peripherals with two independent channels of UART, I squared C, and SPI. The device also includes our real-time clock calendar, our cyclic redundancy check, and parallel master port. The final feature of this device is the peripheral pin select, or PPS. As you will see, it is the peripheral pin select that makes it effective to integrate a large peripheral set on a 28-pin device. As I reviewed the peripheral set on the PIC24 FJ64, I mentioned that the peripheral set was the same as the 100-pin PIC24 FJ128 device. To fully utilize the peripheral set included on this device, over 80 functions are available for pinout. The 80 functions do not include standard I.O., power, or oscillator pins. On a 100-pin device, it may be realistic to utilize a large peripheral set. On a smaller pin count device, it is impossible to fully utilize a large feature set, so the peripheral sets are typically smaller. This makes it difficult for a designer who is developing a system that requires a feature-rich device. For example, an application that requires numerous serial channels. If a typical microcontroller was designed with multiple UARTs, SPIs, and I squared C's, their use would be limited by the way the pins are typically multiplex. In most microcontrollers, the functional inputs and outputs of a peripheral are typically multiplexed on fixed pins and often conflict with each other. This creates a situation where by selecting one peripheral, you lose the ability to use another. If a microcontroller manufacturer included all the needed peripherals in an IC, it wouldn't be possible to access the peripherals needed. Peripheral Pin Select addresses the issue of how to access the peripherals needed with as few pins as possible. On devices with Peripheral Pin Select, there are a number of pins designated Remappable Peripherals, or RPN pins. The RPN can be used to access any of the remappable peripherals avoiding the pin multiplexing issues found on many microcontrollers. In short, you can access the exact peripherals you need for your application. 